were John just now. Your own son believes that Grace is in love with you. It's what I've been telling you all along. You didn't want to believe me, but surely you believe your own son. <sighs> Go for it, David. There's nothing to hold you back now. You know how Grace feels about you. You know she loves you. Go to her. Make her yours. Make all your dreams come true. Don't you dare blame Ivy for this. It's all on you. You're the one who won't let David sign the annulment papers. You're the one who's hiding behind excuses. Talking about how we have to set examples, not wanting to look like hypocrites. This is all your fault. You and only you have destroyed our marriage. That is not true. Sam, I love you. Not enough to make David sign those papers. Why can't you listen to me? Because we have nothing else to talk about. You're not my wife, and I'm not your husband. So why don't you go back to David, huh? He's your real husband. Why don't you just leave me alone, okay? What if something does come between Chad and me? Something that could destroy our relationship. Honey, what could possibly come between you? <sighs> come on, who knows in this town? When it comes to love, something's always coming between people, breaking them up. Come on, you and Ethan, Luis and Sheridan, Miguel and Charity, Sam and Grace. Whoa, you and Chad are nothing like Ethan and me, okay? There are never secrets between you two. You've always been open and honest about everything, so nothing is gonna come back to haunt you. I guess so. I mean, okay, the only secret we have, at least the only one I'm aware of, is who Chad's parents are. Yeah, but that doesn't affect your relationship. So who cares? It makes no difference who they are. It's not gonna change the way you feel about them, right? Right. I mean, I'm gonna love them no matter what. So there, there's no problem, okay? You got nothing to worry about. Hey, I hope you find out your parents' identity soon. I mean that. Thanks. I want to know the truth. Yeah, that sounds like Coach Russell. Man, I hope he's not yelling at Whitney for being with me again. Don't do this, Liz. Stay out of this, Julia. Eve, hey, please, tell me what this is all about. Listen to me, TC. It's like Eve said. She had a little boy. A son that came along before Whitney and Simone. That's the truth, TC. That's what Eve has been hiding from you all these years. <laughs> can't be true. You had a son. I had a baby boy. <laughs> Betty is about to bite the dust. Beth, is this true? You're not pregnant? Of course. It isn't true. I really am pregnant. Okay, then. Why don't you know your due date? Because that's the very first thing that the doctor determines on your initial visit. I mean, Beth, the day your baby is going to be born is the most important special day of your life, and you don't know when that is? Answer the question! It's, um... It's... It's what, Beth? Now, what's going on here? Why don't you know your due date? Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to handle this. She doesn't know it, cause she's lying.
lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of a bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out Became the afterlife You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life Beth hasn't been to a doctor. That's why she doesn't know when her due date is. I knew it. I knew she was lying. But you told us that you had seen a doctor. Okay. My mother is right. I lied. What are you saying, Beth? Why did you lie? It's all over for her now, Mommy dearest. How could you lie about this? Because I was embarrassed. Louise. Embarrassed about what? No, don't tell me she's gonna get away with this one, too. My mother tried to get me to be honest with you, Louise, but I was just too humiliated. I don't understand. Why would you be humiliated? Because I can't afford to go to the doctor, okay? I don't have any money. And Chad are gonna be together forever. Stop being such a worry wart. I guess you're right. <laughs> I mean, I think my imagination just runs away with me sometimes. I just love Chad so much, you know? I know. You know what? As far as Chad's parents go, maybe it'll turn out that Chad's mom is someone your parents like. Now, wouldn't that be great news? Yeah. Yeah, actually it would. All right, so just stay positive, okay? Keep telling yourself that nothing is going to come between you and Chad. Nothing is going to come between me and Chad. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Sweetheart, I don't understand. How could you not tell me that you had another child? I couldn't, you see. It was too painful. It was too horrible. Sweetheart, what happened? Jeez. Honey, that's okay. You don't have to talk about this now, okay? You don't have to talk about this in public. Especially not in front of Julian Crane. It's none of his business. You having a child has nothing to do with him. Sweetheart, come on. I will take you home and we can talk about it now, okay? No, no. I want it to be out in the open. I... I've been holding on to this for far too long. And I want it to come out. Then we can all start healing. It's been too much pain already. I was pregnant before I had Whitney and Simone. I didn't plan on it. And it came, of course, at the worst possible time. My. My career was just getting started. But from the moment that I knew he was there, I wanted him. I wanted him so much. I loved him. Oh, where to hold him. I wanted to, to watch him grow and, and just love him. I guess. Because of the fears and doubts that I had in the beginning, he was taken from me before I ever even got a chance to hold or love him. <laughs> oh my God! My mother had a had a son. had another child? A son? Yes. Yes, honey, I had a son. And you never told us about this? No. 
I'm so sorry. Why not, sweetheart? Surely your family deserves to know. I could. I couldn't talk about it. It's, it's just too painful. I've buried so many of those memories so deep I didn't even remember a lot of them until recently. And when I think, when I remember them now, the pain is so fresh, I feel like it's happening to me all over again. I couldn't talk about it. I couldn't talk about it. You shouldn't have kept it to yourself, sweetheart. You should have shared your burden with me, sweetheart. I'm your husband. I didn't think you'd understand. Talk about an understatement. Just wait till TC finds out who the daddy was. His worst enemy, Julia Crane. still doing here? I just want to see how you're doing. Oh. Grace, what is it? Did you see Sam? Have you talked to him? Yeah, it's, um... It's over between us. Over? He told me to, uh, go back to my real husband. David, just do what I told you to do, and then we both can be happy, finally. You with Grace, and me with Sam. My ball! Hey, hey, watch out! You could fall right off the cliff there. Oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute, okay? Here. Just go buy yourself a new ball. Gee, thanks, lady. Scare you, did I? You could never scare me, Sam. Not ever. I'm always glad to see you. But how come you're here and not at practice? Oh, Sam. <sighs> you loved me once, Sam, and given the chance, you will love me again. And I'm going to make sure you have that chance. <laughs> Afford to go to the doctor? That's why you didn't go? Totally strapped for money right now. Something Gwen and Sheridan wouldn't know anything about. Because they have money and insurance. I don't have either. No insurance means I have to pay cash, and I just don't have it right now. Okay. Not for monthly checkups or sonograms or any of those other tests they make you do these days. It's humiliating. Not to be able to afford the most basic things in the world for my child the way Gwen and Sheridan can. Do you know what that does to a person? How insignificant it makes you feel? Oh, cue the violins. I told you from the beginning, Louise, that money was a problem. That's why I offered to have an abortion. What? No, Beth, you can't, you can't have an She's abortion. Not. No idea. No, this is not how we're supposed to go. Beth was supposed to get caught in her lies, not cuddled by Louise. I'm sorry. 
sorry that I haven't been there for you, okay? Well, Beth, if you if you haven't been to a doctor, how do you even know that you're pregnant? I took a home pregnancy test, Gwen. In fact, I took three of them, and they all read pregnant. Well, you know those those home tests. You know they're not always accurate. So it's, it's just possible that you're mistaken. I mean, maybe you're not pregnant at all. Well, that certainly looks pregnant, Gwen. Well, looks can be deceiving. Maybe she put on a little weight, or maybe it's just the power of suggestion. Power of suggestion? So many people in town are expecting me, Sheridan, Kay Bennett. Maybe Beth just thinks she's pregnant. Gwen, I've heard of hysterical pregnancies before with women, but Beth doesn't strike me as a hysterical type. Uh, yeah, Hank's right. I mean, Beth, she's one of the most down-to-earth centered people I know. Thank you, Antonio. And you too, Hank. And you're right, I'm not hysterical. I'm really pregnant. Maybe you ought to tone it down just a bit, Gwen. Look, I'm sorry. It's just that something about Beth just does not rub me the right way. She reminds me too much of Teresa. It would not surprise me if she was faking this whole thing. How do you fake a pregnancy? Oh, it can be done. I mean, for a while at least. Some women are capable of anything. And I wouldn't put it past her. I mean, Teresa pretended that her baby was Ethan's for a while, so why can't Beth be faking this pregnancy? Well, if you are suspicious of Beth because of what happened to Teresa, I think you're way off base here. Ethan, it, look, something just rubs me the wrong way about Beth. I mean, she's always pretending to be Sheridan's friend and wanting to do the right thing. It just is so like what Teresa did to me. Meanwhile, she was plotting to steal you away from me the entire time. But why would she fake being pregnant? To hold on to Luis, of course. You go, girl. <laughs> All of those home pregnancy tests can't be wrong, Luis. I am going to have your baby. Well, well, still, I just want you to see a doctor. Just to make sure you really are pregnant, okay? I know, I want that too, but like I said, uh, I can't afford it. I'll pay for it. What? I mean, it's, it's only one visit, and the doctor can tell you how far along you are and when your due date is, and then we can all take Lamaze class together and enjoy our pregnancies together. You know, why don't I call Dr. Russell for you right now? No, no, don't do that. For you not to be able to tell anyone about this. Mom, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I love you so much, too. I just wish I could have, you know, been there for you. And shared some of that pain with you, Mom. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't. Honey, you have to understand that the girls and I love you so much. We would do anything for you. Uh, I don't mean to interfere in a family matter. Then don't. I, all I wanted to say was perhaps Eve was too embarrassed to come to you with so much heavy emotional baggage. My wife can speak for herself. If I may please finish. Uh, you and your girls think so highly of Eve. Perhaps she was afraid of tarnishing her, her image. Damn it, Julian. Losing a baby wasn't her fault. Why would we blame her? It was just... It was such a stressful time. And I... I buried those memories so deep, I... I didn't want to pull them back up to the surface again. Honey, I, I just can't believe that you... kept this all to yourself. You didn't tell anyone? No. Nobody. Then, how did Liz know? You are my passion for life. If you 
kept your baby boy such a secret? How did Liz know? You, you barely know her. Well, TC... Perhaps it, that's the reason. What? Eve barely knowing Liz. Sometimes it's uh, much easier to tell your problems to a stranger than it is someone close to you because you feel they'll be less judgmental. Uh, Father, uh, perhaps it's better if you stop talking for Dr. Russell. Um, just let her speak for herself. But, sweetheart, I mean, the idea of you not coming to me, to your husband, the man who loves you, it, it just hurts so bad. You won't love her when the truth comes out, TC. You won't be loving her one little bit. What are you talking about, Liz? Stick around, Fox. You'll find out. I still can't believe it. My mother had a baby. A little baby boy. I have a... I have a brother out there somewhere. Gosh, I wonder where he is. You gonna try to find him? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would love to know who my brother is. Oh, my God. I already know who my brother is. Chad. Chad could be my brother. Why don't you want me to call Dr. Russell? I told you I already have a doctor, Dr. Culver. But Eve Russell is the best OBGYN in the state. Well, Dr. Culver is also excellent. That's who I saw when I still had health insurance. Besides, Dr. Culver's not as expensive as other doctors in town. Um, Gwen, why don't we let uh, Beth and Louise handle this, okay? You know, I feel bad for poor Beth. I had no idea that things were so tight for them. I don't think any of us did. You know, I, I can't let this continue. Excuse me. Louise, can I see you for just a minute? Sure. Look, um, whatever medical costs you and Beth can't afford, I'll take care no, of it. No, no, I'll handle it. Having a baby can be very expensive. Well, that's not my major concern right now. Did you hear what Gwen just said? She heard Beth might not be pregnant at all. Think about that possibility. I am, and I hope it's true, but I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. Well, all right, you're right, but well, we can pray that she's not pregnant. Well, if that's the case, then we can tell Antonio the truth about it so we can finally be together. Constance, seeing you is so much pain. No, you know what? I, I'll be okay. No, no, it cannot go on like this. You know, I'm going to sign the normal papers so that you will be free to return to Sam. <sighs> Marry him. No, David, you can't. Why not when it is causing you so much pain? Because it, it, it wouldn't be right, and I, and I would feel so guilty. Then what is the solution? I don't know, but I, I, I wish you could come up with something, anything, at this point. Because, you know, I can't go on like this, torn between two men, making myself and, and everybody miserable. Go for it, David. There's nothing to hold you back now. You know how Grace feels about you. You know she loves you. Go to her. Make her yours. Make all your dreams come true. I have a suggestion. What is it? Come away with me. Come back to the place where it all began for us. Where we met, where we fell in love. Let me sweep you off your feet. I wonder if that ball Sam threw all those years ago could still be here. Oh, is that it? 
Oh my gosh. I was reaching for... for this. Well, what is that? Don't you remember? No. Think back. Don't you remember all those years ago? You came up here to meet me? No. Oh, Sam. Yes, you do. You blew off baseball practice so we could have some time together. your life to save this old baseball? Sam, this is, this is far more than just an old baseball to me. It's solid, tangible proof that we lo once loved each other very, very much and that we were planning to have a life together. Now this baseball, it means the world to me. Aren't you dodging another bullet? <laughs> well, it's just a matter of time before the truth comes out. It is just a matter of time before you were out of my life forever. The doctor is not going to lie for you, though. And pretty soon, everybody here is going to know what a big, fat fraud you are with nothing in that bulging belly but a bag of sugar. <laughs> well, you just keep on yammering, and you will be in a state home before sunset. Get you off your feet. I mean, I'm not tired. I would like a glass of water, though. Okay, sit down. I'll get you. Hey, did you make your appointment? Nope, not yet, but I will. Right, well, I want to go with you, okay? Thank you, but that's not necessary. Well, if I think that I should go. I know you want to be with Sheridan. Okay, I don't want to come between you. I'll take care of myself. No. All right? I want to go to the doctor with you. I want to be there when we find out if you really are pregnant. You don't want me to be pregnant, do you? I never lied to you. And you know how I feel about Sherry. All right, but if we are having a child together, I'm going to be responsible to you, okay? Hey, don't you ever doubt that. It's very kind of you. Well, you know I'm gonna call a doctor for you. I'll make an appointment. No. What's your, what's your name? No, I'll, I'll do it. Hi, is this Dr. Culver's office? Yeah, it's Beth Wallace. Hi, I'd like to make an appointment. Uh huh. For a, a prenatal checkup. Oh, you have an opening today. Great. Okay, I'll be right over. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, so when did you make the appointment for? Right now. I'm just gonna head over to Dr. Culver's office. Oh, great. I'm gonna go with you. No, no, like I told you, you don't have to. It'll probably take a long time. I, I'm gonna just have to sit around and wait. Last time I was there, it took hours because Dr. Culver was over at the hospital Beth. delivering a baby. It Beth. happens all the time. Beth, look, I don't care how long it takes, all right? I want to go with you and find out if you really are pregnant. I want to go, too. It's my first grandkid, and I'm so excited. And I just know he or she is just going to be sweet as sugar. Honey, I just wished you would have told me. 
I wanted to so many times, DC. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Oh, sweetheart, I feel like it's my fault. No. No. I, mean, I, I feel that I'm, maybe I failed you somewhere, and you can't be honest with me and be open. Wait till you hear who fathered her baby. You won't be so understanding then, TC. Man, Dr. Russell had a son that she didn't tell anybody about. Yeah. It was really a bombshell, wasn't it? Major. I wonder what happened to the baby. I wonder where he is now. Yeah, if Dr. Russell doesn't know, I sure don't. I guess he could be anywhere. Including right here in Harmony. Right on this very wharf, in fact. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that, is that Dr. Russell's story sounds a lot like yours, Chad. I mean, a woman has a baby, loses a baby. I mean, you don't think... What? No. Well, you don't think you're Dr. Russell's long-lost son, do you? My mother... Dr. Russell. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you know, I mean, that means that Whitney is my sister. Yeah. N no, no, she can't be. Well, I'm sure it's something you don't want to think about, but I mean, if you put all the pieces together, woman has baby, woman loses baby, you're, you're looking for your long lost mother. Man, I don't know, Chad. I've seen stranger things happen. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Mine. You know, it's ironic. What is? You risked your life to save this old beat-up baseball. Because it's a solid reminder of the love we once shared. <laughs> That's right. Grace won't even ask David to sign the annulment papers to save our marriage. Well, I love you in a way that Grace could never understand. You know what? <clears throat> I should get you home. Uh, car's over here. Okay. I'm getting to you, Sam. You want me to go away with you? If we are married, I mean, it's perfectly legal. Yeah, I know, but... Grace, <sighs> I want to take you back to all the places we used to haunt when we first met, when we were first in love. I mean, maybe being back, back where it all happened, jog something in your memory. <laughs> or at least remind you of the passion and the love we used to share. If it doesn't, I will bring you back to Harmony, and I will sign those annulment papers with a clear conscience. Because it will mean that there's nothing left for us as a couple. But if it doesn't... I mean, if it reminds you, rekindles something in your heart, in your mind, then I want us to stay together. And I want us to stay married. I want John to have a father and a mother together in love. You know, David, I, I, I don't know what to say. This... Say yes, it's the only way. We should get going if we want to make that Lamaze class. The two of us are going to have so much fun. <sighs> well, three of us. What? Beth. Ugh, I just, I do not trust her. Maybe you're just letting your bad experience with Teresa cloud your feelings for her. Maybe because she reminds me so much of Teresa. Always trying to be your friend, so anxious to do the right thing. Well, you know, she's going to the doctor with Luis. If she's not pregnant, we'll know soon. Yes, we will. 
have to admit, though, I would be so happy if it turned out she wasn't. Well, I think you are going to be a very happy woman. <laughs> Y'all set? Yeah. I'm gonna be with you every step of the way, okay? My wicked daughter is finally going to be exposed for the fraud that she is, and for that I thank you with all my heart. Blessed angels. <laughs> I can't wait for the fireworks. Wait for Grandma! Come on, precious! No, no. Whitney, no. You are just letting your imagination run away with you again. Am I? I don't even think about it, okay? Chad cannot be your brother. Hey, you guys are in love. I mean, God, he just, I mean, he just can't be your brother. I, I mean, now, Dr. Russell can't be my mother. I mean, she can't be. I mean, that would make me Whitney's brother. Well, it definitely would complicate things. I mean, yeah, that would mean that the, the woman that you're in love with, the woman you made love to, is your own sister. It can't be. I mean, that's just... I can't even think of a word. It's, it's just... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't believe it. No. What if it's true? I mean, what if Dr. Russell really is my mother? my lover, not my sister. I made love to Chad, to, to my own brother. Your whole scheme is gonna blow up in your face right now. Tell me what I should do, <laughs> honey. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. She created a billion dollar empire. People, she's in the building, let's go! How she did it is another story. Did I not ask for Merlot? What are you gonna do when they find out we're not the perfect family? You're not leaving me! If you think you're getting him, you are mistaken! Sybil Shepherd stars. The SEC has begun an investigation into insider trading charges. Martha Inc., the story of Martha Stewart. NBC Monday, 9-8 Central.